Hello everybody, my name is Beth, and today I'm going to talk about the new updates and the new characters that Scott has processed and got into the game. Where we left, left off last time was Phantom Freddy. Since then, he's added a couple more, and let's talk about them. So first off, we have Old Man Consequences, which is from the FNAF World game if you went four levels in the flip side or something. Basically, if you entered the glitch world, and then entered the glitch world, and then entered the glitch world, and then did it again, you'd end up in this little red and black area, and you see old man consequences fishing. If you talk to him, he's just like, yeah, you're stuck here. da da And the game ends there. The only other way to get out of there is to go into the lake, into which no one's really sure what happens. You see a flashing, a you see an angel in front of a flashing screen, but the angel kind of looks like a guy holding with two smaller kids with them. Nobody really knows, so there's that. Basically, old man consequences is old man consequences, he sits and fishes. And what Scott has said is, better catch a fish. So that probably means that every once in a while, a mini game will show up and s old man consequences is trying to catch a fish. And if you don't catch a fish, something happens. My guesses are you get jump scared, you lose power, like, first time it happens you lose like 10%, next time it's 20, next time it's 50. Um, or you get a really horrific jump scare, or he breaks something and basically you get a slow, painful death. Okay, next one is the marionette. And here's what he says. If you neglect its music box, then it will break free from its prison. Once out, it can't be put, it can't be put back inside, and your ventilation system will drain much faster than it did before, causing blackouts and eventually a game over. So, very similar to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you gotta wind the music box, keep them in the box. The only difference this time is that instead of outright trying to kill you, the, the vents kind of break. I like to think that the vents are just tired of him whining and just kind of shut down faster because, you know, this the standard joke is is that the marionette is like, I want my music! And everybody's just like, shut him up, shut him up, shut him up! And even the vents are like, shut him up, shut him up, shut him up! But that's just me. Uh, next one, we have the night marion. Night Marion. Night Marion? Anyways. His present moves randomly to different locations in your office as you play, and begins to reappear when your mouse cursor moves over him. Be quick to avoid the area of the office he occupies, or you will run or your run will end with a jump scare. So I'm guessing he's kinda like Phantom Freddy. He sh he shows up every once in a while, increasing more as the night goes on. And it's kind of one of those, oh, I see him, turn away. Like, if I don't see you, you can't see me. Um, I, pretty cool. Seems to work for him. So, at least there's not, like, three different boxes that you have to keep an eye on. And winding music boxes. <laughs> three whiny marionettes are no good. Okay, next one we have is Music Man. He is behind you, always, and he is sound activated. If you continue to make a lot of noise, he will slowly become more active, crashing his cymbals together faster and faster, finally ending your run with a startling face-to-face -face jump scare. So, the Music Man is a character that you can either purchase or that help you can find. He's creepy. Though, of course, when I hear Music Man, I think of uh, rock the first song in the Music Man. He goes, he's a what? He's a what? He's a music man with a trombone. So that's kind of in my head. But it is interesting. He is behind you. So I'm, I almost want to say we might be able to have a camera swing behind us. Or we're just going to be stuck listening to him. Just being stuck with listening for him. And if you make a lot of noise, which I'm guessing the flashlight will make noise. The tablet will make a lot of noise. And so on and so forth. So that's my thoughts on it. Last but not least, we have Nightmare BB. He sits in your office throughout the night, usually slouched over. 
When slouched, be careful not to shine your light on him. If he is standing, however, shine your light to return him to his sitting position. Otherwise, he will attack you when you turn away. So, kind of like in the Fun with Nightmare BB, it looks like it's going to be kind of one of those, now you see me, red light, green light, that, that game where he won't move if you see him, but if you turn away, he does stuff. So, that'll be an interesting adage, or ad thing. Um, so, it looks like we have at least three animatronics that are going to show up in-game, like in the office, whenever. So, that's, that's just fun. And Nightmare BB and Music Man are permanently in our office, so... Let's just add that claustrophobia of, oh crap, if I screw up, it's going to be a quick death. Yay! <laughs> but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? What next animatronic do you think you, it's going to be? Uh, I'd be... It's just this is kind of fun, because it's kind of a guessing game of what... Who's the character next? What attributes are going to stay the same? And how screwed is everybody going to be <laughs> when they play this game? So I'd love to hear your thoughts, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!